For now, we want to send it over to Dana Marie McNichol, who's joining us live from Ped West, to talk about the impacts there. What are you seeing, Dana Marie? Well, we know that border crossing times are going to be high today. We know that yesterday the times were higher than normal. So at the San Ysidro port of entry for passenger vehicles, it's about an hour and 40 minutes. And if you're passing by uh, just by pedestrian, it's about an hour. Also, if you're at the Otay Mesa border crossing right now, those average wait times are around 80 minutes. Now, I would like to say that those times are not above average than normal. Uh, but again, the Tijuana consulate did say that anything could happen today and you must prepare for even closures. They say that you need to have make sure your car is in good condition and you have enough gas for long traffic delays. Also bring water, snacks and essential medication with you. Another thing that happened last night that impacted uh, wait times was an readiness exercise done by the San Ysidro Port of Entry and the Border Customs Patrol there. They interrupted processing and crosses, crossing. It happened last night around 9 p.m., which is the same time Title 42 expires tonight. At that time, at 9 p.m., the border crossing wait times are at the lowest at only 23 minutes. But again, people uh, saw above average wait times all day yesterday. Right now, they are looking about average. Again, uh, San Ysidro Port of Entry, an hour and 40 minutes if you're trying to come by car. Now I'm standing in front of the Ped West Port of Entry and we're starting to see just a small amount of people come through this Port of Entry. Uh, we're going to try and talk to them to see what it's like on the other side of the border. But again, keep in track. We'll send it back to you, Netta.